A trip to Gdansk could be incomplete if you don't visit the world's largest castle in Malbork and Europe's longest wooden pier in Sopot. Both are great day trip options from Gdansk. While Marburg Castle is located towards the south, Sopot is towards the north of Gdansk. So it's better to plan these two places on different days. Starting with Malbork Castle. It's a 13th century Teutonic castle recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a short 30 minute train ride from Gdansk main station. Tickets can be purchased either online or by using the tickets vending machines. We got tickets for 23 slotties per person both ways. After reaching the town of Malborg, it felt noticeably colder than Gdansk. The castle is short walk away from the station and you can find some nice local bakeries along the way to grab a quick snack. The town itself is very small with a population of 38000 people. The entry to the castle is free on Mondays and all other days there is an entry fee of 70 slotties per person which includes an audio guide. The entire audio tour takes roughly 3 to 4 hours depending on how fast you walk. Covering 52 acres is not a piece of cake. The castle was heavily damaged during the World War II and it's amazing to see how well it was restored. Apparently, it took 50 years for the whole restoration process and finished only recently in 2016. You can see the restoration work and the extent of the damage by observing the colors of the brick. Darker bricks indicate damage and burning due to fires. The castle had different defense mechanisms. Firstly there are deep moats all around which restricted entry only through the main gates. Secondly there is a draw bridge to allow people to come in which is still functional. The main gate itself could open in four different sections to further control the movement of people. If that wasn't enough soldiers could pour boiling water from the windows and even use spiked gates. Coming to the inside you are greeted with a huge courtyard surrounded by brick structures in all directions it feels like different world in itself the castle also has its own amber museum which shows amber in different shapes and sizes of course we had to purchase an amber magnet from there The audio guide often takes you through narrow staircases, passageways and long corridor and that makes the 3 hour tour more interesting and engaging. It also gives explanation why things were constructed in a particular way and how each room was used in olden days. The castle is surrounded by many gardens and hence the whole place looks very beautiful and green. It's also worth to cross the bridge behind the castle to get a wider view of the size. After the 3 hours audio tour there is a nice restaurant inside the castle from where you can grab some local food and drinks If that can't satisfy your hunger pants then there is a place called Papa's restaurant which serves amazing food at amazing prices We feel you should definitely dine here during a Malbox visit
Moving on to Sopot. Sopot is a small city about 12 kilometers north of Gdansk and it's quite easy to get there by train. Ticket can be purchased for as less as 4 slotties per person one way. It hardly takes 12 minutes to reach. The city itself is quite touristy because Sopot beach has the longest wooden pier in all of Europe. The pier is walkable distance from the train station. The water from the Baltic Sea can get quite cold during non-summer season, so it's best to just sit down on the fine sand and soak in the vibe of the place. The Baltic Sea has limited water exchange with the larger oceans which is why the salt content is not as high as a normal beach, but slightly more than river water. This is probably why the water is supremely clean and the waves are very gentle. This place would be definitely a lit and packed with people during summers. Walking along the pier is a pleasant experience with gentle breeze. There is also a restaurant on the pier itself. It's a nice place to enjoy sunset. All the short we love this visit to support and are really eager to come back in summers. After the day spent well, now it's time to head back home. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.